Today, we're diving into the anatomy of the knee's posteromedial capsule. Understanding this structure is crucial, as it's prone to injuries, including the elusive ramp lesion, making diagnosis challenging. Contrasting with the lateral meniscus, the medial meniscus shows less mobility due to its strong peripheral attachments, especially on the medial and posterior sides. A ramp tear is characterized as a longitudinal tear at the medial meniscus posterior horn involving the periphery at or near the meniscocapsular junction. Untreated ramp tears are often associated with unfavorable outcomes such as accelerated cartilage degeneration. Anatomy of the posterior medial capsule on a sagittal image, the medial meniscus posterior horn's two main peripheral attachments are highlighted. The meniscocapsular ligament is marked in purple, extending posterior superiorly to the capsule. And the meniscotibial ligament, indicated in aqua, attaches inferiorly to the tibia. These ligament attachments may converge at a common point, which has been highlighted in red as the shared common attachment. The posterior medial capsule connects inferiorly to the top margin of the posterior medial meniscus at an average depth of 36.4% of the meniscus's total posterior height. In my opinion, while anatomically, it doesn't attach to the superior margin, the meniscocapsular ligament often appears to attach to the superior margin on MRI scans. The meniscotibial ligament doesn't attach directly to the articular cartilage margin of the posterior medial tibial plateau but 6 mm below. A thin fat pad normally separates the green-colored joint capsule from the meniscotibial and meniscocapsular ligaments. The superior and inferior posteromedial recesses, which can appear similar to ramp lesions if prominent. Looking at a case, the right one is classified as a full-thickness vertical peripheral tear in the red-red zone, making it a ramp lesion type 4A. However, the left case appears to be a meniscotibial ligament tear due to a prominent inferior posteromedial recess. Viewing sagittal images might spark curiosity about the medial to lateral lengths of these structures. Meniscotibial ligament, 14 mm. Meniscocapsular ligament, 20 mm. Medial meniscus, 21 mm. Additional medial meniscus attachments, acting as secondary knee stabilizers, include the deep medial collateral ligament, posterior oblique ligament, and semimembranosus tendon. Stay tuned for more detailed insights in future videos. Subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like it.